Hey guys, uh, a lot of people always think spring and late fall for grubs and bugs, but now, the, actually August, is a great time to get out and treat for them. So in the description below, I'm going to link to the product I'm using, plus don't forget the Bermuda Lawn Guide, click subscribe. But if, you weren't, uh, if you're not following along, we did a, a huge scalp on the front and an aeration. Let me show you that. So we completely took down the entire lawn and did a real heavy core aeration on this. Core aeration holes are close to three inches and it's it's heavily aerated. But I'm going to take you over, I'm going to show you Barb's lawn. We thought she had some fungus issues, which she did, which I treated, but she's also got grubs. Um, and I put out some double kill and saw some grubs come up and now I'm seeing, so I came back and hit it again really hard with the double kill. And now I'm getting a ton of these beetles. Now they're black African beetles, which result in the grubs that we're seeing. This is just part of a life cycle. And what's interesting is when you put this down, you may find some grubs and you might find some beetles, but if you don't come out early, the birds are gonna come out and steal them all. <laughs> and that's what we find. The birds come out real early, first light, and they come out and steal all the grubs and black beetles. But I'm gonna walk you here. And I just a few minutes ago, I walked through here and picked up and show you just in this one area. That's what I pulled up. Black African beetles that produce the grubs. It's part of this whole life cycle. But this, I'll pull up, yesterday morning I pulled up the same amount. So we got a ton of these beetles that are burning in here and creating that life grub life cycle. They usually leave, you usually see they eat the roots so the grass can't get water. And what ends up happening is this. This is kind of what you see. Some people think that that's fungus, and it may be some fungus, but usually that's grub damage right there. Again, the grubs are eating the roots, and so the grass just dies off. Okay, so this is pretty wild here. So just look at this one spot right here. See? here, 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 look at all those, and they're everywhere, <laughs> like here, 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 just see them everywhere, here, here, and actually the birds have already come in here and taken a lot of these. That's just, that's just this little area here. Quick update and funny story. I was actually editing this video and I said I need to go grab a picture or something. I came out to Barb's lawn. Some people say that if you have a lot of beetles, well you don't have grubs yet. It's not true. They both are present at the same time. And I came out, I'm gonna show you some armadillo damage that happened last night. Now I showed you, you just watched this patch um, that didn't have any damage on it last night. <laughs> we'll wait till you see what they'll do in one night. All right, so it came up and I want you to look at all the little tufts. See these little tufts here? That's armadillo. And what an armadillo does is he digs a hole down to get the grub. There's a hole. There's a hole right there, right about two inches. And look at this. All through here, there's all kinds of tufts. All over here, look at this. Look how many grubs this guy's getting out of here. This is just insane. So I've got lots of beetles. <laughs> And let me show you. I did find a grub. Let me see if I can find them. Here he is. And so here's a grub that came up too. Dying. I'm actually shocked at how many grubs are in this yard <laughs> and that this yard is still alive. That's just shocking to me. So that's a great example of a lawn that looks pretty good and it just has a ton of grubs. So, I'm going to stay on this.
who's your daddy? <laughs> All right, so the sun is setting. Let's talk about army worms. This is the perfect time of day to treat for army worms. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take the double kill. And I guarantee you, if you see any moths at all, a good, a good thing to do is in the early morning or late in the evening, spray your lawn with your hose and see if you have white moths coming out. If you have them, you probably got army worms or you're gonna have them. And it's not like they're everywhere. They usually concentrate in an area and then they move across your lawn, hence the name army worms. They travel like an army <laughs> and they march across your lawn. But this is the time of year where you're gonna see them, now through September. So here's what you do. Take your double kill product, put your double kill out, run your irrigation system, get it wet. The granules will disperse into the thatch layer. That's where the army worms hide during the day. They don't hide in the ground, they hide in the thatch layer during the heat. They come out at night, right about this time, and they'll start eating. So you put out your double kill, wet it, then come out, use our spray bottles, use a spray bottle and spray permethrin. And I forget the, I think it's like one ounce per thousand square feet or something like that. You'll have to look at the label. Spray a light coat of permethrin. The permethrin will be on the blades of grass the double kill will be in the thatch layer. And that double killing process, I'm telling you, after you do that, come out about an hour later and you're gonna see army worms all over the place. The next morning, you'll see them all over the place, dead or, or dying. So that's how we treat for army worms. And of course, it's a 28 day cycle. So you may have to come back in 28 days and retreat again for it. But the nice thing about that is, is you're also killing a whole bunch of other invasive kind of insects, problem insects, fleas, ticks, ants. Um, that's the nice thing about double kill. It's a multiple insecticide that kills over and under, above the ground, and then once it rains, it goes into the ground and kills grubs. So, like I said, I love the product. It's a dispersible granule. That's basically all I use besides permethrin. Um, and the permethrin I really only use uh, just for army worms basically is all I'm using it on. So we've got grubs, we've got army worms, we've got cut worms, we've got sod worms, a few other issues, but I'm telling you, make sure you order it. I'm getting ready to order more for next month because I'll probably have some more stuff going on. Uh, that's about it guys. Make sure you get the Bermuda Long Guide and click subscribe because you can't miss this beautiful face. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Doc.